Now, here's an update on a feel-good story we reported on the other day, uh, an unusual sighting that happened at the Kruger National Park where a baboon was spotted taking care of a lion cub. Now, the two seem to be recreating the iconic Lion King scene where Rafiki presented Simba to Pride Rock. Well, at least that's what they reminded us of. Now, Kurt Schultz, who guides and runs Kurt Safari Co., is uh, on the line to tell us a bit more about the sighting and give us the latest news. Kurt, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Okay, hello. Yes, good morning. Thank you. So give me a bit of a background on Kurt Safari, first of all, your love for animals and how Kurt Safari came about. As a kid, I always knew that I would end up in the bush in, in, in one way or the other. Um, uh, my first years were in the overland industry, southern and east Africa, there's these overland trucks from Kenya down, Uganda down to Cape Town, doing these long overland trips. And then uh, I moved to the Kruger Park and I settled down and then I guided in the Kruger Park for about 10 years for local companies before starting my own business. Yeah. Now, the picture uh, has gone viral and a lot of people reposting it and talking about it, the sighting of the baboon taking care of a lion cub. So tell me about how this came about. Was it just on a random, normal, everyday uh, guide or trip that you were doing? And what were your thoughts when you saw it? I was by myself. I, I, I had a, a breakfast appointment at the Cruiser, which is the main camp of the Cruiser Park, at 9 o'clock. So I entered the park at half past 5 and I had two and a half hours to kill. I had my camera with me as usual. And having guided and, and been around the park, I know that there's a good area to, to operate in. So I went into one of these areas and coming there, there were one or two vehicles already there. And, and the guy said to me, listen, there's rumor that these baboons have, have a, a lion cub. Being January and, and the rain season in, in this region, the, the, the vegetation was long and thick and, and they were in some, some bushes and one couldn't see anything. Being alone, I, I was fortunate to be able to switch the engine off and just sit there 30 minutes later and then what happened is this baboon then crossed the road. That's when we realized it did have a lion cub and that the lion cub was alive. That was, that was the real bonus, that this cub was, was alive, hadn't been killed yet, which is unusual. Yeah, and in your experience and expertise, how would something like this have happened? Because usually, you know, lions are the predators and pretty much everyone else is prey. So how would this have happened? There's a, a copy, granite copy, about probably under a kilometer from where I witnessed it. And this area is well known for, for predators, lion and leopard leaving their cubs in these rocks for safety when they are a few couple of weeks old. What happens is baboons, their, their main predator being a leopard, also sleep up on these big rocky outcrops because it's, it's safer for them and, and the security. They would have woken up that morning and, and, and started foraging, coming down the corpies for food. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that they came across these lion cubs hidden and to, to the baboon, being inquisitive creatures, what they are, the sort of being a real lucky find for it and just taking this cub and then taking it with it. Wow. I mean, what has since happened in terms of your safari and people coming back to you asking questions about this? Have you received a lot of, a lot of attention as a result of this? Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm not used to this attention. So I came home, I was very excited about this find and, and on the way home, I already contacted my manager and I contacted my office ladies and I said, listen, we, what happened? Because it was really unbelievable. I came home and I, I downloaded the pictures and then uh, that's when I realized these pictures are very clear and, and I could use them. And that's also when I noticed that this baboon was, was, was a young male, not a young female, which we originally thought. Oh, yes. so I posted this randomly a few pictures and within half an hour, my phone started ringing. Now, I've got to ask, have you since seen the lion cub and the baboon? Um, and with your you know, expertise and experience as well, what, what do you expect would happen in a, a relationship like this? Does it normally work? Does it flourish? You know, it's not really a relationship. A relationship is, is, is built on trust and, and love, I suppose. This baboon, it, it won't end well for the lion cub. The boons are very, very strong creatures, especially the males. And they were very interested in this lion cub prior to me getting the footage. So a lot of physical abuse was given to this cub prior to right. climbing the tree where we could see it. Um, so the lion cub being three, four weeks old, it, it, it can't take abuse like that. Not only that, it's, it's summer in the Kruger region, you know, the, 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 the average temperature reaches between 33, 35, 38 degrees. This, this lion cub will, will need 
milk quite regularly, especially in a hot day like that. Mm. Um, it, it, it wouldn't last long. What happened was they came down the tree, moved in a little bit up another tree. I moved off to give other people in the area a chance to also want to view the site. And yeah. We spent the last two, three days in the area again, every morning seeing maybe we could find something, but there has been no sign of them again. Yeah, well, as sad as this may be to hear, I guess it is all part, as Mufasa said, of the great circle of life. But thank you very much for joining us this morning, Kurt. I appreciate the call. And thank you very much. An amazing sight. And our thanks there to Kurt Schultz for bringing us closer to nature and wildlife. And if you want to keep up with uh, or keep up to date with what is happening and all the great sightings that they have at Kurt Safari, then you can head on over to their website, which is kurtsafari.com.